Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this episode, we embark on a fascinating journey into the lives of celebrities who, despite their fame and fortune, found themselves facing financial turmoil in the most unexpected and, at times, absurd ways. Join us as we unravel the stories of 30 stars who went broke due to bizarre decisions or unfortunate circumstances. From lavish spending to perplexing choices, discover the surprising and often foolish paths that led these once iconic figures to financial challenges. Let's delve into the intriguing tales of wealth, downfall, and unexpected twists in the lives of these celebrities. Number 30. Johnny Depp, born John Christopher Depp II on June 9, 1963, in Owensboro, Kentucky, rose to fame as an acclaimed actor known for his versatile roles in various genres. Depp's success spanned from his early work in Edward Scissorhands to iconic performances as Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. At the pinnacle of his career, Johnny Depp was among the highest paid actors in Hollywood, accumulating substantial wealth. However, his financial troubles emerged in the midst of a highly publicized legal battle with his ex-wife, actress Amber Heard. The legal dispute led to revelations of extravagant spending habits and allegations of domestic abuse, resulting in defamation lawsuits. This protracted legal battle took a toll on Depp's finances and reputation, impacting his ability to secure major film roles. As of now, Johnny Depp has faced setbacks in his career and personal life, experiencing a decline in popularity and lucrative opportunities, with his defamation lawsuits against media outlets contributing to the challenges he faces. Number 29. Randy Quaid, born on October 1, 1950, in Houston, Texas, initially gained fame as an accomplished actor with a successful career in both film and television. Known for his roles in movies like The Last Detail and National Lampoon's Vacation series, Quaid's talent was recognized with accolades, including a Golden Globe Award. At the peak of his career, Randy Quaid's financial situation was stable, enjoying the perks that came with Hollywood success. However, his downfall began when he and his wife, Evie Quaid, faced legal troubles, including charges of burglary and conspiracy. The couple claimed they were targeted by a shadowy group within Hollywood, leading them to seek asylum in Canada to evade alleged threats. The legal issues and bizarre behavior contributed to Quaid's financial troubles, resulting in bankruptcy and a decline in his acting opportunities. As of now, Randy Quaid remains in relative obscurity, with his once promising career overshadowed by legal and financial challenges. Number 28. Kelly Rutherford, born on November 6, 1968, in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, is an American actress known for her roles in popular television series such as Melrose Place and Gossip Girl. With a successful acting career and a steady income, Rutherford enjoyed financial stability during the peak of her popularity. However, her life took a dramatic turn during a tumultuous divorce and custody battle with her ex-husband, Daniel Giersch. The legal proceedings drained her financial resources, leading to a significant financial setback. In 2013, Kelly Rutherford filed for bankruptcy, citing overwhelming legal fees and the impact of the custody battle on her finances. The prolonged legal dispute affected her professional opportunities, with fewer acting opportunities coming her way. Despite the challenges, Rutherford remains active in the entertainment industry, participating in various projects. The financial struggles resulting from the divorce and legal battles serve as a cautionary tale about the potential financial toll of high-profile legal disputes on even successful individuals. Number 27. Gary Coleman, born on February 8, 1968, in Zion, Illinois, was an American actor best known for his role as Arnold Jackson in the sitcom, Different Strokes. At the height of his fame in the late 1970s and early 1980s, Coleman was one of the most recognizable child stars in Hollywood. 
However, despite his success on screen, financial mismanagement and legal issues plagued his adult life. Due to misappropriation of his earnings by his parents and subsequent legal battles, Coleman faced severe financial difficulties. In 1999, he filed for bankruptcy, citing both his parents and advisors for the financial turmoil. Additionally, ongoing health issues and struggles with employment contributed to his financial woes. Sadly, Gary Coleman passed away on May 28, 2010, at the age of 42, further highlighting the challenges and hardships he faced, both professionally and personally, throughout his life. Number 26. Wesley Snipes, born on July 31, 1962, in Orlando, Florida, is a renowned American actor, film producer, and martial artist. Known for his roles in action films such as Blade and Demolition Man, Snipes achieved substantial success and financial prosperity during the peak of his career. However, in 2008, he encountered legal troubles that significantly impacted his financial situation. Snipes was convicted of tax evasion for not filing tax returns from 1999 to 2004, leading to a three-year prison sentence. The actor's legal battles and subsequent incarceration created a substantial dent in his wealth. Despite these setbacks, Wesley Snipes has worked on rebuilding his career since his release in 2013. He has taken on various roles in films and television, emphasizing his resilience and determination to overcome the financial and legal challenges he faced. Number 25. Kim Basinger, born on December 8, 1953, in Athens, Georgia, is an American actress and former fashion model. She gained widespread recognition for her performances in films such as L.A. Confidential and Batman. At the zenith of her career in the 1980s and 1990s, Basinger not only achieved critical acclaim but also financial success. However, her financial troubles began in the early 1990s when she made a significant investment in purchasing the entire town of Brasselton, Georgia. The venture, intended for commercial development, turned into a financial burden, leading Kim Basinger to file for bankruptcy in 1993. The legal aftermath involved a lawsuit, and Basinger ultimately had to sell her share of the town. Despite the setback, Kim Basinger continued her acting career, gradually recovering from the financial turmoil. Over the years, she has maintained her presence in Hollywood and received accolades for her resilient comeback. Number 24. Lady Gaga, born Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanata on March 28, 1986, in New York City, is an iconic figure in the music and entertainment industry. Rising to fame as a singer, songwriter, and actress, Lady Gaga's distinctive style and powerful vocals catapulted her to global stardom. During her peak in the late 2000s and early 2010s, Lady Gaga achieved remarkable financial success. With hit albums, sold-out concerts, and numerous accolades, she became one of the highest-paid and influential musicians globally. While Lady Gaga did face financial challenges due to her ambitious projects and philanthropic efforts, she strategically managed her career to maintain stability. Despite occasional setbacks, her adaptability and resilience ensured that her career continued to thrive. As of the latest available information, Lady Gaga remains a dominant force in the entertainment industry. Beyond music, she has successfully ventured into acting, earning critical acclaim for her performances. Lady Gaga's ability to evolve and diversify her talents has solidified her status as a versatile and enduring artist. Number 23. Heidi Montag, born on September 15, 1986, in Crested Butte, Colorado is an American television personality, singer, and fashion designer. 
she gained widespread recognition for her appearance on the reality TV series, The Hills. In the mid-2000s, Heidi Montag underwent a highly publicized series of plastic surgeries, including a significant number of procedures in a single day. The extensive surgeries were widely criticized, and the associated costs contributed to financial challenges. Despite initial aspirations of launching a successful music career, her debut album, Superficial, faced limited success. In terms of financial impact, the combination of the extravagant surgeries and the lackluster performance of her music career led to reported financial struggles for Montag. However, she has continued to make appearances on reality shows and has explored various entrepreneurial endeavors alongside her husband, Spencer Pratt. The couple has been open about their financial difficulties, attributing them to the aftermath of Montag's surgeries and career choices. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, Heidi Montag remains active in the public eye, sharing aspects of her life through social media and occasional television appearances. Number 22. Dorothy Hamill, born on July 26, 1956, in Chicago, Illinois, is a retired American figure skater. She gained international fame and acclaim for her performances in the 1970s, particularly winning the gold medal at the 1976 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria. Known for her signature Hamill Camel hairstyle and graceful style on the ice, Hamill became a beloved figure in the world of figure skating. At the height of her success, Dorothy Hamill also ventured into professional figure skating tours, entertainment, and business endeavors. She created the popular Ice Capades tour and was involved in various skating-related projects. However, despite her achievements, financial challenges emerged in the early 1990s. Hamill filed for bankruptcy in 1996, citing business debts and struggles with the Ice Capades enterprise. In recent years, Dorothy Hamill has been involved in philanthropy and has shared her experiences with breast cancer, a battle she faced and overcame. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, she continues to be an influential figure in the figure skating community. Number 21. Meat Loaf, born Marvin Lee a day on September 27, 1947, in Dallas, Texas, was an American singer, songwriter, and actor. He rose to prominence in the 1970s with his album, Bat Out of Hell, featuring iconic songs like, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, and, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. Meat Loaf's powerful voice and theatrical performances made him a distinctive figure in the rock music scene. At the peak of his career, Meat Loaf achieved commercial success with Bad Out of Hell, becoming one of the best-selling albums of all time. However, financial challenges arose, and he faced bankruptcy in the 1980s due to disputes with his record label and financial mismanagement. Despite these setbacks, Meat Loaf continued his music career, releasing albums and touring. He also delved into acting, appearing in films like The Rocky Horror Picture Show and Fight Club. Over the years, Meat Loaf faced various health issues, but he remained a beloved and influential figure in the music industry until his passing on January 20, 2022. Number 20. Kevin Bacon, born on July 8, 1958, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is a renowned American actor and musician. He gained fame for his versatile roles in films such as Footloose, A Few Good Men, and Apollo 13. At the peak of his career in the 1980s and 1990s, Bacon achieved considerable financial success. However, his financial downturn came in the early 2000s when he fell victim to the infamous Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme. Bacon, along with his wife Kira Sedgwick, lost a significant portion of their savings in this financial fraud. The impact of the crisis led to a re-evaluation of Bacon's career choices, and he had to take on more roles in television and independent films to recover financially. Despite the setback, 
Kevin Bacon has managed to rebuild his career and continues to be a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Number 19. Dennis Rodman, born on May 13, 1961, in Trenton, New Jersey, is a former professional basketball player who gained fame for his exceptional skills as a rebounder and defensive player. His illustrious career in the NBA included stints with teams like the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers, earning him multiple championships and all-star honors. At the peak of his career in the 1990s, Rodman was not only a basketball icon but also a pop culture figure. Despite his success on the court, Rodman faced financial challenges due to his extravagant lifestyle, legal issues, and erratic behavior. His high-profile relationships and controversial public appearances contributed to financial instability. The financial downfall intensified in the mid-2000s, and Rodman faced difficulties in maintaining his previous lifestyle. The impact of these financial struggles on Rodman's career was significant. He faced challenges in securing stable employment and endorsement deals. The decline in his financial standing coincided with a decrease in public interest and opportunities within the basketball community. As of the last available information, Dennis Rodman has made efforts to address his financial issues, including participating in reality TV shows and public appearances. However, the lasting effects of his financial troubles have undoubtedly left an impact on both his personal and professional life. Number 18. Leif Garrett, born on November 8, 1961, in Hollywood, California, is an American singer, actor, and former teen idol. He rose to fame in the 1970s as a pop and rock sensation, achieving success with songs like I Was Made for Dancing and Surfin' USA. Garrett's early career was marked by numerous television and film appearances, making him a heartthrob for teenage fans. During the peak of his fame, Leif Garrett enjoyed considerable financial success, with a thriving career in music and acting. However, his life took a turn for the worse in the late 1970s and early 1980s due to substance abuse issues. Garrett struggled with drug addiction, leading to legal troubles and a decline in his career. The financial impact of his personal struggles resulted in a significant downturn in Leif Garrett's financial situation. Legal battles and a string of unsuccessful projects contributed to his financial difficulties. The once prominent teen idol faced challenges in rebuilding his career and reputation. As of the latest available information, Leif Garrett has made efforts to overcome his past struggles, including participating in rehabilitation programs and sharing his story to raise awareness about substance abuse. However, the lasting effects of his financial challenges and personal issues have left a lasting mark on his career and public image. Number 17. Once a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, MC Hammer, born Stanley Kirk Burrell on March 30, 1962, in Oakland, California, gained fame as a rapper, dancer, and record producer. At the height of his career in the early 1990s, MC Hammer's financial status was astounding, with estimated earnings exceeding $30 million. However, his extravagant lifestyle, including a lavish mansion and a large entourage, coupled with ill-advised business ventures, led to his financial downfall. In 1996, he filed for bankruptcy due to mounting debts and mismanagement of funds. The financial crisis had a profound impact on his career, forcing him to sell assets and drastically downsize. Today, MC Hammer has not fully recovered from his financial setback and remains less visible in the entertainment scene. The year 1996 marked a turning point, as he faced challenges in reclaiming his financial stability, emphasizing the importance of prudent financial management in the unpredictable world of show business. Number 16. Burt Reynolds, born on February 11, 1936, in Lansing, Michigan, was an iconic American actor, director, and producer. 
Known for his charismatic performances, Reynolds rose to fame in the 1970s and 1980s with roles in films like Deliverance, Smokey and the Bandit, and Boogie Nights. He became a Hollywood heartthrob, known for his rugged charm and leading man roles. At the height of his career, Burt Reynolds enjoyed substantial financial success. He was one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood during the late 1970s. However, financial mismanagement, failed investments, and a costly divorce in the 1990s took a toll on his wealth. Reynolds faced mounting debt and struggled to maintain the lavish lifestyle he had become accustomed to. The financial challenges Reynolds encountered had a significant impact on his career. He faced difficulties securing substantial roles and experienced a decline in his box office appeal. Despite facing setbacks, Reynolds continued to work in the industry, taking on various projects to overcome his financial difficulties. Burt Reynolds passed away on September 6, 2018, at the age of 82. His legacy in the entertainment industry is marked by both his remarkable contributions to film and the financial challenges he faced later in his career. Number 15. Nicholas Cage, born on January 7, 1964, in Long Beach, California, is a highly acclaimed American actor, producer, and director. Known for his diverse roles and intense performances, Cage has been a prominent figure in Hollywood since the 1980s, earning critical acclaim and winning an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Leaving Las Vegas. During the peak of his career, Nicholas Cage was one of the highest paid actors in the industry, accumulating significant wealth from blockbuster hits such as National Treasure, Con Air, and Face Off. However, despite his success, Cage faced financial troubles due to lavish spending, real estate investments, and tax issues. In the mid-2000s, Cage experienced a financial downturn, accumulating debts and facing foreclosure on several properties. His financial troubles were further exacerbated by legal battles and unpaid taxes, leading him to make choices aimed at stabilizing his financial situation. Cage had to sell valuable assets, including rare collectibles and properties, to address his financial challenges. Despite the setbacks, Nicolas Cage continued to be active in the film industry, taking on numerous roles in both mainstream and independent films. His financial struggles became a widely discussed aspect of his career, serving as a cautionary tale about the importance of financial management in the entertainment industry. As of the latest available information, Cage has made efforts to overcome his financial challenges, focusing on more selective roles and rebuilding his financial stability. Despite the turbulence in his finances, Cage remains a respected actor with a prolific career in the film industry. Number 14. Marvin Gaye, born on April 2, 1939, in Washington, D.C., was an iconic American singer, songwriter, and record producer. He played a pivotal role in shaping the Motown sound and became known as the Prince of Soul. Gay's illustrious career included hits like I Heard It Through the Grapevine and What's Going On, showcasing his soulful voice and socially conscious lyrics. At the zenith of his career in the 1960s and 1970s, Marvin Gaye achieved significant financial success through his chart-topping albums and singles. However, personal and financial struggles emerged in the later years of his life. Legal disputes with Motown Records and the Internal Revenue Service IRS, led to substantial financial burdens. In 1983, Marvin Gaye tragically lost his life in a shooting incident involving his father. The untimely death cut short the career of one of the greatest soul musicians. Despite his immense contributions to music, his estate faced challenges, including legal battles over royalties and inheritance. Marvin Gaye's legacy endures through his timeless music, influencing generations of artists. The challenges he faced in his later years serve as a reminder of the complexities within the music industry and the impact of personal struggles on an artist's financial well-being. As of the latest available information, Cage has made efforts to overcome his financial challenges, focusing on more selective roles and rebuilding his financial stability. Despite the turbulence in his finances, Cage remains a respected actor with a prolific career in the film industry.
Number 13. Tony Braxton, born on October 7, 1967, in Severn, Maryland, is a Grammy Award-winning American singer, songwriter, and actress. She gained widespread recognition in the early 1990s with her self-titled debut album, featuring hits like Another Sad Love Song and Breathe Again. Braxton became known for her sultry voice and emotional ballads, establishing herself as an R&B and soul icon. During the peak of her career, Toni Braxton achieved significant financial success, winning several Grammy Awards and selling millions of records worldwide. However, despite her accomplishments, she faced financial challenges in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Legal disputes with her record label and the music industry, combined with lavish spending and a declining music market, led to financial difficulties. In 1998, Toni Braxton filed for bankruptcy, and her financial struggles became a publicized part of her career. Despite the setback, she continued to work in the entertainment industry, participating in projects like Broadway musicals and reality TV shows to regain financial stability. Over the years, Toni Braxton has successfully navigated through her financial challenges, making a comeback in the music industry and expanding her career beyond singing. She has remained a respected and influential figure in the world of R&B and continues to inspire fans with her talent and resilience. As of the latest available information, Cage has made efforts to overcome his financial challenges, focusing on more selective roles and rebuilding his financial stability. Despite the turbulence in his finances, Cage remains a respected actor with a prolific career in the film industry. Number 12. Stephen Baldwin, born on May 12, 1966, in Massapequa, New York, is an American actor, producer, and author. He is part of the Baldwin family, known for their involvement in the entertainment industry. Stephen Baldwin gained recognition for his roles in films such as The Usual Suspects and Biodome. In terms of his career, Stephen Baldwin experienced success in the early stages, earning critical acclaim for his performances. However, his financial troubles became apparent, leading to his filing for bankruptcy in 2009. Reports suggested that he owed millions of dollars in unpaid taxes. The financial difficulties affected Stephen Baldwin's lifestyle, forcing him to sell his home in New York. Despite the setbacks, he continued to work in the entertainment industry, taking on roles in films, television shows, and reality series. Baldwin also participated in various projects, including appearing on reality shows such as Celebrity Apprentice. As of now, Stephen Baldwin has made efforts to address his financial challenges and has been active in his career. While he may not be in the same financial position as earlier in his career, he has shown resilience in navigating and rebuilding his financial stability. As of the latest available information, Cage has made efforts to overcome his financial challenges, focusing on more selective roles and rebuilding his financial stability. Despite the turbulence in his finances, Cage remains a respected actor with a prolific career in the film industry. Number 11. Lindsay Lohan, born on July 2, 1986, in New York City, is an American actress, singer, and entrepreneur. She rose to fame as a child actress in the late 1990s and early 2000s, starring in films like The Parent Trap, Freaky Friday, and Mean Girls. Lohan was once considered one of the most promising young talents in Hollywood. At the peak of her career, Lindsay Lohan enjoyed success both as an actress and a pop music artist, releasing albums like Speak and A Little More Personal, Raw. However, Starting in the mid-2000s, her career took a turn as she faced legal troubles, substance abuse issues, and frequent stints in rehab. The combination of personal struggles, legal issues, and erratic behavior had a significant impact on Lindsay Lohan's professional and financial standing. She faced challenges in securing stable roles in the film industry, and her once prominent career experienced a decline. In recent years, Lindsay Lohan has made efforts to rebuild her career. She has taken on roles in international film productions, reality TV shows, and ventured into business, including opening nightclubs. Despite the ups and downs, Lohan remains a prominent figure, 
and her journey reflects the challenges many child stars face as they transition into adulthood. As of the latest available information, Cage has made efforts to overcome his financial challenges, focusing on more selective roles and rebuilding his financial stability. Despite the turbulence in his finances, Cage remains a respected actor with a prolific career in the film industry. Number 10. Michael Jackson, born on August 29, 1958, in Gary, Indiana, USA, was an iconic figure in the music industry. Known as the King of Pop, he achieved unparalleled success in the entertainment world. At the peak of his career, Michael Jackson's financial status was extraordinary, making him one of the wealthiest artists globally. However, his financial downfall began with a series of legal troubles and extravagant spending. In 2005, he faced a highly publicized trial on charges of child molestation, which resulted in a costly legal battle. Simultaneously, his lavish lifestyle and excessive spending contributed to financial mismanagement. The mounting debt led to the forced sale of valuable assets, including the rights to the Beatles' catalog, worsening his financial situation. The financial crisis significantly impacted Michael Jackson's career. Despite attempts to revive his image and stage a comeback, the toll on his reputation and the burden of debt weighed heavily. Sadly, Michael Jackson passed away on June 25, 2009, in Los Angeles, California, leaving a legacy tainted by financial struggles and legal controversies. His untimely death marked the end of an era in the music industry, but his influence and contributions to pop culture endure. As of the latest available information, Cage has made efforts to overcome his financial challenges, focusing on more selective roles and rebuilding his financial stability. Despite the turbulence in his finances, Cage remains a respected actor with a prolific career in the film industry. Number 9. Shane Stephen Phelan, born on July 5, 1979, in Sligo, Ireland, rose to fame as the lead vocalist of the internationally acclaimed Irish pop band Westlife during the late 90s and early 2000s. At the pinnacle of Westlife's success, Phelan enjoyed considerable financial prosperity, marked by chart-topping hits and millions of records sold worldwide. However, in the mid-2000s, Phelan faced a financial downturn due to investments in the Irish property market, the economic challenges led to bankruptcy and mounting debts. This financial crisis, in turn, had a profound impact on Westlife, leading to their disbandment in 2012, significantly affecting Phelan's music career. Undeterred, Shane Phelan demonstrated resilience and embarked on a solo career. Despite the setback, he successfully navigated through the challenges, reclaiming his professional life. Presently, Phelan has not only revitalized his solo career but has also overcome the financial hurdles, showcasing his ability to rebound from adversity. Number 8. Pamela Denise Anderson, born on July 1, 1967, in Ladysmith, British Columbia, Canada, achieved fame as both a model and actress, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her iconic role in the 90s TV series, Baywatch, solidified her status as a glamorous figure. During the pinnacle of her career, Anderson was a sought-after model and actress, basking in the glory of her image. However, despite her success, financial challenges emerged due to mismanagement, legal issues, and failed business ventures. These factors led to significant financial struggles and eventually bankruptcy. The financial downturn had a noticeable impact on her career. While Pamela Anderson continued her involvement in the entertainment industry, the intensity of her stardom dwindled compared to the peak years of the 90s. Despite the setbacks, she has remained active in the public eye. As of the present, Pamela Anderson continues to engage in various projects and activism. Her journey has been marked by personal and professional ups and downs, including the mid-2000s bankruptcy. Through it all, she showcases resilience and a commitment to contributing to diverse spheres of public life.
Number 7. Fahim Rashid Najam, known professionally as T-Pain, was born on September 30, 1985, in Tallahassee, Florida. He gained fame as a singer, rapper, and record producer. At the pinnacle of his career, T-Pain dominated the music industry with his unique use of auto-tune, producing hit singles like Buy You A Drank and Bartender. During his prime, T-Pain's financial status was impressive, with successful album releases, sold-out concerts, and collaborations with A-list artists. However, his financial downfall began when he neglected to manage his money wisely. The artist admitted to overspending on extravagant purchases and not paying attention to his finances. The consequences of his financial mismanagement eventually caught up with T-Pain, leading to the accumulation of tax debts and mortgage issues. The Internal Revenue Service IRS, reportedly filed tax liens against him. The financial crisis negatively impacted T-Pain's career, forcing him to sell assets and even experience a period of foreclosure on his properties. T-Pain has made efforts to address his financial challenges, including filing for bankruptcy. Despite the setbacks, he continues to work on music and rebuild his financial stability. Number 6. Michael Gerard Tyson, widely known as Mike Tyson, was born on June 30, 1966, in Brooklyn, New York. Tyson became a global sensation as a professional boxer and is considered one of the greatest heavyweight boxers in history. Known for his ferocious style and quick knockouts, Tyson reached the pinnacle of his career in the late 1980s, becoming the youngest heavyweight champion at the age of 20. At the height of his success, Tyson's financial situation was immense. He earned millions from boxing purses, endorsement deals, and pay-per-view events. However, Tyson's financial troubles began with his tumultuous personal life, legal issues, and extravagant spending habits. He faced a highly publicized divorce from actress Robin Givens, a rape conviction that led to imprisonment and costly legal battles. The legal and personal setbacks resulted in Tyson declaring bankruptcy in 2003. His extravagant lifestyle and financial mismanagement had drained his fortune. The bankruptcy had a significant impact on his boxing career, forcing him to make a comeback to repay debts. As of now, Mike Tyson has made efforts to rebuild his life. He has found success outside of boxing, including acting and entrepreneurship. Tyson's life story serves as a testament to the highs and lows of fame and the challenges of managing immense wealth. Number 5. Michael Dwayne Vick, born on June 26, 1980, in Newport News, Virginia, rose to fame as an American football quarterback. Known for his exceptional athleticism and dynamic playing style, Vick was a four-time Pro Bowl selection during his prime. At the height of his career, Vick signed a 10-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons in 2004, making him one of the highest-paid players in the NFL. However, his financial stability took a severe hit due to his involvement in an illegal dogfighting operation called Bad News Kennels. In 2007, Vic faced federal charges related to the dogfighting ring, leading to his suspension from the NFL and the loss of lucrative endorsements. The legal battles and incarceration resulted in Vic declaring bankruptcy in 2008. The financial fallout deeply impacted his career, as he faced challenges rebuilding his image and securing a place in professional football upon his release from prison in 2009. Since then, Michael Vick has worked towards redemption, both on and off the field. He returned to the NFL, playing for the Philadelphia Eagles and other teams before retiring. Vick has been involved in animal rights advocacy and community work, attempting to move past the controversies of his past. As of now, Michael Vick has demonstrated resilience, successfully transitioning into a sports analyst role while continuing his efforts in community service and advocating for animal welfare. Number 4. Dennis Keith Rodman, born on May 13, 1961, in Trenton, New Jersey, is a former professional basketball player who gained widespread recognition for his outstanding defensive skills and rebounding abilities. Rodman, often referred to as the Worm, played a crucial role on NBA championship-winning teams, notably the Chicago Bulls alongside Michael Jordan. 
During his prime, Dennis Rodman was a seven-time NBA rebounding champion and two-time NBA Defensive Player of the Year. His unique playing style and flamboyant personality made him a well-known figure on and off the basketball court. Financially, Rodman faced challenges despite his success on the court. His eccentric lifestyle, including extravagant parties and a high-profile marriage to Carmen Electra, contributed to financial instability. Additionally, Rodman's legal issues and child support obligations further strained his finances. In recent years, Dennis Rodman has faced financial difficulties, including reported tax liens and legal battles over unpaid debts. Despite these challenges, he has remained active in the public eye, participating in various entertainment projects and occasional basketball-related events. As of now, Dennis Rodman's financial situation remains a topic of discussion, and he continues to navigate the complexities of managing his finances post-retirement. Number 3. Curtis James Jackson III, known professionally as 50 Cent, was born on July 6, 1975, in Queens, New York. He rose to fame as a rapper, actor, and entrepreneur. At the peak of his career, 50 Cent became one of the most successful and influential figures in the music industry. Initially gaining attention with his debut album, Get Rich or Die Tryin', in 2003, 50 Cent achieved massive commercial success. He expanded his empire through various business ventures, including investments in vitamin water, record labels, and a successful acting career. During the height of his success, 50 Cent faced financial challenges due to a combination of factors, including legal issues, lavish spending habits, and a decline in music sales. In 2015, he filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, citing debts and legal judgments. However, 50 Cent's bankruptcy filing was widely seen as a strategic move to reorganize his finances. He continued to thrive in the entertainment industry, with successful TV projects like Power and Further Business Ventures. Over time, he successfully managed to resolve his financial troubles and regain stability. As of now, 50 Cent has rebounded from his financial setbacks, showcasing resilience in both his artistic and entrepreneurial pursuits. Number 2. William Gary Busey, known as Gary Busey, was born on June 29, 1944, in Goose Creek, Texas. He is an American actor and musician, gaining fame for his performances in films like The Buddy Holly Story, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. In the prime of his career, Busey was recognized for his talent, earning critical acclaim and establishing himself as a prominent actor. However, his financial struggles became evident in the mid-1990s. Reports indicate that he faced bankruptcy due to a combination of factors, including overspending and personal issues. Despite facing financial difficulties, Gary Busey continued to work in the entertainment industry. He took on various roles in films, television shows, and reality series. His public appearances and participation in reality shows, such as Celebrity Apprentice, also contributed to his ongoing presence in the media. As of now, Gary Busey has managed to maintain his career, showcasing resilience in the face of financial challenges. While he may not be in the same financial position as during the peak of his career, he has remained active in the entertainment world. Number 1. Christopher Tucker, widely known as Chris Tucker, was born on August 31, 1971, in Atlanta, Georgia. He is an American actor and comedian who gained immense popularity for his roles in the Rush Hour film series alongside Jackie Chan. At the height of his career, particularly during the late 1990s and early 2000s, Chris Tucker became one of the highest-paid actors in Hollywood. The success of the Rush Hour movies and his stand-up comedy performances contributed significantly to his financial success. However, Chris Tucker faced financial challenges due to factors such as a slowdown in his film career, a hiatus from acting, and reportedly owing substantial amounts in unpaid taxes. 
The Internal Revenue Service IRS, filed tax liens against him, leading to financial difficulties and legal troubles. In recent years, Chris Tucker has made efforts to address his financial issues and return to the spotlight. He returned to stand-up comedy, embarked on a successful comedy tour, and appeared in various projects. Despite the setbacks, he has shown resilience in rebuilding his career and managing his financial situation. As of now, Chris Tucker continues to work in the entertainment industry, balancing his career in acting and comedy. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the financial roller coaster of celebrities. If these stories intrigued you, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more intriguing tales. Your support means the world to us as we continue to unveil the surprising twists in the lives of these iconic figures. Stay tuned for our upcoming episodes, and until next time, let's explore the highs and lows of fame together. See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.